hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial uh, in today's video we are going to discuss about the process of conversion of a binary number into its equivalent hexadecimal form in my previous uh, video we discussed about the hexadecimal to binary conversion so in this video we are going to do the opposite so I suggest you that you please uh, check out that video first because uh, in the introductory part of that video I, uh, I, I stated an important relationship between the hexadecimal symbols the 16 hexadecimal symbols from 0 to F that is up to 15 and their equivalent binary representation 4 bit binary representation I, uh, I drew a table there so where each symbol or digit of the hexadecimal system was represented in terms of 4 bit binary equivalent form. So the same relationship will be used to convert a binary number into hexadecimal form. So we will directly uh, go for uh, the conversion process, we will study the conversion process with the help of some examples. Okay. So, let us just uh, see how we can convert a given binary number into hexadecimal form. Okay. So, let us first take a number, let us say 1100, 1100, then 1010, 1010. 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 and then 0 1 1 1 this binary number okay it's a big number we have to convert it into hexadecimal form so we will use the same principle okay of grouping which we used in the binary to octal conversion. The only difference which is uh, which takes place here is that in binary to octal conversion we grouped these bits binary digits in 3 bit groupings but in binary to hexadecimal conversion we will group them into 4 bit groupings ok we will form 4 bit groups. Okay, so let us just see how we do that. So let us write the number again 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1. Now always told you there is a hexadecimal point here but it makes no sense because there is nothing present in the fractional portion but here this is the hexadecimal point. Okay. So, I always told you that whenever you form groups either 3 bit groups or 4 bit groups always for the whole portion okay, this is a whole number for the whole portion always start from the right from the LSB bit and proceed towards the MSB bit forming 4 bit groups. So, always start from here. So, this is one 4 bit group this is one 4 bit group this is one 4 bit group and this is another 4 bit group the last one now the hexadecimal equivalent of this 4 bit binary group 0 1 1 is what 7 uh, sorry uh, this is 7 yes this is 7 this is 7. This 101, one, this is actually 5. 10101, one, one, it is actually 5. This is 10, okay, 10. But in hexadecimal, 10 is represented as A because it is an alphanumeric code, okay, 1010. Zero, one, zero, the binary representation 1010 actually is 10. Okay. Then 
one one zero zero. This is actually twelve. Okay, twelve in hexadecimal form, and the alphanumeric code is C. Okay, twelve stands for C. So this binary um, number, okay, one one zero zero one zero one zero zero one zero one zero one one one, is actually C A five seven in hexadecimal form. Okay, C A five seven. So the principle which is involved in binary to hexadecimal conversion is that. For the whole number here, there is no fractional part. Okay, there is no fractional portion. So for this whole binary number, you start from the LSB bit, lowest significant bit, the least significant bit, and start forming four bit groups involving four binary digits, string of zeros and ones. Okay, and you keep forming them until you exhaust all of the bits. Then represent each four-bit group in terms of the equivalent hexadecimal number symbol. Zero one one here, the hexadecimal symbol equivalent to zero one one is seven. The hexadecimal symbol equivalent to one zero one or zero one zero one is five. For one zero one zero, it is ten, but actually ten is not written in hexadecimal uh, number system. It is an alphanumeric code, so we write. A in place of ten, and one one zero zero is twelve, so we write C instead of twelve. Then you combine the hexadecimal symbols, and then you form the equivalent representation of the given binary number, which is C A five seven in base sixteen or hexadecimal form. This is the equivalent. Representation in hexadecimal form for the given binary number. Okay, so let us take another example. So this is another binary number. Okay, and we have to convert it into its equivalent hexadecimal form. So we have this binary number. So let us just write it down here. One zero one 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 one. Zero point zero one one. Now, uh, the point, the tip here, okay, which uh, we should use while forming groups, which I also mentioned in the binary to octal conversion, is that always start forming groups for the whole portion, that is, to the left of the binary point from the LSB bit, from right to left. So always start forming groups, four-bit groups, from this side for the whole portion, and for the fractional portion from left to right. So for this portion, we'll form groups from in this direction. Okay, zero one one one. This is one group, and this here we have only three bits. Okay, we have only three bits. So in order to form a four-bit group, we will add another extra. Zero here, because addition of zeros on the left side or the MSB side in a binary number makes no difference, makes no change in the value. So this is another four-bit group. Here, for the fractional portion, we will start forming groups in this direction, okay, from left to right. Here, if also we have three bits, but we have to make a four-bit group, so we have to add a Zero here. The tip which is used here is that for the fractional portion, adding zeros in the right side makes no difference. It will cause no change in the value. What I'm trying to say is that if we write zero one, zero zero one, zero 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 one, they are all the same. Similarly, point one zero, point one zero zero. Point one zero zero zero. They are all the same. It makes no difference how many zeros you add in this direction, and for this, how many zeros you add in the left side. Okay, they will. The value will remain the same. So the same technique which we have used here. So now we can form a four-bit group. Now we have to represent each of the four-bit groups. Okay, 
each of the four bit groups okay in terms of the hexadecimal symbol equivalents now this 0 1 1 0 this is actually 6 2 plus 4 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 1 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 this is 6 this is uh, I think it's 14 okay it's 14 2 to the power 1 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power 3 8 plus 6 plus 2 okay 8 plus 4 plus 2 okay so it is e 14 which is e and this one is 5 this is 5 1 into 2 to the power 0 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 okay this is 5 0 1 0 1 the hexadecimal symbol equivalent is 5 and the hexadecimal point will coincide with the binary point the point will stand here so the equivalent hexadecimal representation of this binary number is 5 e point 6 in base 16 form okay so the principle is the same we first write the number binary number as it is we start forming four bit groups for the whole portion from right to left and for the fractional portion from left to right forming four bit groups if we found any shortage of any excess bit to form a four bit group we add zeros in that direction in the whole portion for the whole portion we'll add zeros on the msb side or the left side and for the fractional portion we keep on adding zeros on the right side because addition of zeros makes no difference in that case it causes no change in the value and then we have to represent each of the four bit groups in terms of the equivalent hexadecimal digit or symbol and then we combine them together so here the given binary number in hexadecimal form is actually 5 E point six. okay so here this is how we convert a given binary number into hexadecimal form so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much